Diana and I'm a native English speaker and a tutor here on Cambly. Today in this video we're going to have a look at informal contractions in English. You might have heard of formal contractions in English, but informal contractions are contractions that are often used in spoken English. So when learning English, you might know how to read, how to write, how to even speak. But when native English speakers are talking, you just simply can't understand certain words and certain expressions. And this is often because they are speaking very fast and they are using informal contractions. So in this video, we're going to have a look at six of the most common informal contractions. And we're going to look at example sentences of each. So the first one that we're going to look at today is wanna. Wanna is an informal contraction for want to. In spoken English, it might sound something like, I want to go to the shops later. I want to go to the shops later. Or, I want to cook something interesting for dinner. I want to cook something interesting for dinner. One, two. The second one that we're going to look at is don't you. Don't you is an informal contraction for don't you. Don't you want to improve your English listening? Don't you want to visit the museum later? Don't you? Don't you? Number three is gonna. I'm gonna improve my English. Gonna is an informal contraction for going to. I'm gonna bake a cake this evening. I'm gonna go to school now. Gonna. Number four, cause. Cause is an informal contraction for because. You might hear two variations. You might hear because or cause. In a sentence, it will sound something like, I study English because I need it for my job. I study English because I enjoy the language. Because becomes cause. Number five, gotta. Gotta is an informal contraction for have got to. I have got to finish my work today. I have got to visit that gorgeous castle. Got to have got to. And the last one, number six, watcher. So watcher is an informal contraction for what are you? You might hear a sentence like, what you doing later? What you're studying? What you're reading? These are all possible ways that you could use a sentence. So now, at the end of the video, I'd like you to choose one of the six contractions that we looked at today and write your own example sentence with the contraction. I look forward to reading all your sentences and I hope that you have learned some useful points to improve your listening skills. But not only your listening skills, your speaking skills as well. Because now you can begin applying these informal contractions to your spoken English. So, see you soon and enjoy the video.